Hi, my name is Wendy, the face behind Wendy Workart on Instagram. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a simple recipe for mixing your paint for acrylic paint pouring or fluid art. So I've gotten this request uh, from a lot of people over on Instagram. Um, just on how they want a simple recipe for um, being able to do fluid art without all the extras like with, there's like dish soap and I don't use silicone. Uh, I mean you can use these things and they can you know make it more fun and stuff but if you want just a really simple easy doesn't take a lot of time to mix uh, recipe this is gonna be it it's very simple just paint and one ingredient which is Floetrol so to start off grab some cups So I'm gonna mix it ready right in front of you. Um, and actually, what I should do is, I never use um, any sort of measurement tool, like I don't weigh anything out, but maybe for today's video, I will do that. So I'm gonna quick run and grab my little scale. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my scale. It's all full of resin and paint. Life of an artist. So the first color we're gonna mix today is gonna be like a navy blue. So what I'm using today is Artist Loft's Flow Acrylic, and this one is just the blue. So turn on my scale. I'm not used to using this, so we'll probably end up forgetting at some point. So I'm gonna place the cup on there and then hit the tear button, make it zero. So I am putting in We'll say one ounce of paint. Make it easy. Oh, there we go. Okay, so one ounce of blue. Um, and then I'm gonna take black because we want a navy blue, and this is the best way I found to make a navy blue. Um, Cause all the navy blues that I find, they always have like a tint of purple in them, it seems like. So this is the best way that I found to make navy blue. So I'm just gonna put in like I don't know. I'm going to start with 0.2 ounces. So right now I've got 1.2 in there. So now I'm going to grab, grab a stir stick and I'm going to mix this up. That was like perfect. So, perfect navy blue. Apparently that's the amount you have to put in there. That's awesome. Okay, so now, take all the paint off of there so all the same amount of paint is in there. <coughs> and then now, what I'm gonna do so it's at 1.2 ounces right now. I'm gonna take my Floetrol, which I strain. I have a video on how I strain my Floetrol because um, if you don't, there can be chunks in there. And sometimes even when you strain it, there's still chunks in there somehow. I don't understand. But what I use is pantyhose. So I have a video on that from like, I don't know, a year ago. I took quite a break from um, recording videos. So that one was from like a year ago. Okay, so now Floetrol, this is at 1.2. I'm gonna put in up to, so it gets to two ounces on here. So I put in 0.8 ounces. Now I'm gonna mix it up and check the consistency. Really scrape the sides. What I want is I want the consistency of warm honey. So this is still a little thick. It's pretty close and you probably could get away with that but I'm just gonna go just a little bit more. So a total of 
2.4. So I put in 0.4 more. Go draw. And this doesn't have to be exact. So like if you don't get these right on the numbers that I'm saying, it doesn't really matter. And different paints have different consistencies, so it might take more or less. So following this might not work. So you have to just get it to this consistency. That's the most important part. The consistency of warm honey. Hope you're able to see that. Okay? So that's our navy blue. Now we can tear this again. And our next one is going to be copper. Tear that. So this is Craft Smart Copper. So I'll use this one. I think this one's already mixed. So this is a different brand now. So we're going to add in I guess we'll add in the same an ounce of this just to make it easy for learning purposes. Okay, there's one ounce and then now I'm not going to add anything to that besides the flow troll. So I'm going to add in half an ounce. And we'll check and see this consistency. One ounce of paint to a half half ounce of Floetrol and that is the perfect consistency so it flows off like warm honey so that's how different paint brands can you know be so different on how much Floetrol it needs so that's perfect okay so now tear that up we're gonna use um, Liquitex Basics unbleached titanium so I think I'm almost out of this. So actually what I'm gonna do, you can't waste any paint, right? So I'm gonna cut this. And then, grab my stir stick and grab the paint out of there. That's 0.4 ounces. Try to go for another full ounce if we can get there. Luckily I have another one here that's almost out. So I'll cut that one as well. Trying to be quick because I don't want this video to go too long. I want you to just have a quick little recipe here to work with. So I'm gonna go really fast with this. I usually relax and you know take my time with mixing. This is probably what takes the this is what takes the longest out of this whole process. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, pour a paint skin with this. So I have other videos that I'll be uploading on how to do that. Uh, and then I make jewelry with it after it's dry. So I'm going to start pretty soon with a whole series, I think, on, the, on how to make these jewelry skins, uh, paint skins to make jewelry, I should say. Okay, so that is one ounce. Awesome. So now, now it's all like on the side. Let's get it actually in there. Okay, so now I'm going to add, I'll add half an ounce to start. There you go. Mix it up. Scrape the sides. And if you like videos like this, if you wouldn't mind, please hit the like button. It really helps my channel. Um, I'm going to be posting a lot more. I'm going to try to post um, at least once a week. Um, I'm gonna say once a week right now just because I also have a, a different job. So um, I think 
on Fridays, I'll start posting a video every Friday. So if you want to see future videos, I would love it if you would subscribe. And then you can hit the bell icon to get notified. Um, so that was not enough, so I'm going to add another half an ounce. Go up to two ounces here. This paint is a little thicker, so it's going to take more of that than either of the other two. Okay, so... And if you have any other questions about, you know, problems that you're having with paint pouring, any questions at all, I've been doing this for a good four years now, I believe. Um, okay, I'm going to add in another half an ounce. Just let me know in the comments below and I'll try to solve your problem for you in a future video or I'll just comment back and tell you the answer if I can do that. Okay, so Liquitex Basics Unbleached Titanium is taking triple the amount of Floetrol that the Craftsmart paint that you can get from, I think it's Oh, I think that's from Michaels as well. Craft Smart is Michaels brand. So far we've got triple the amount. And make sure you stir for, you know, a, longer than you think you should. Because it really needs to be mixed up well. And then again, you want that consistency of warm honey. So I could actually add even a little bit more in here, but I'm pretty close. So that was one and a half ounces of Floetrol to one ounce of paint. And I definitely want to add just a little bit more, just, just a little bit, and make sure to mix that in really well, just so it's more fluid, no chunks, I don't want to see any chunks when it's coming off the stick. Then last one I'm going to do is Art Mines. This is also from Michaels. Um, champagne Gold. So I'm going to again do one ounce. This is going to be thicker. I don't even know if I have an ounce left. Yes, I do. Alright, here we go. One ounce. The rest of it. Oh, I just that was a lot of paint on my finger. Okay. So that was one ounce. I'm gonna start with a half an ounce of Floetrol. There we go. And mix it up. This one has yet another different consistency than the other paints. I don't know how to describe it because it's I guess it's because it's metallic. Copper was metallic, but I think this is a little bit better brand than Craftsmart, so actually half an ounce, I think is gonna be perfect of Floetrol. One ounce of paint to a half an ounce of Floetrol. See, the warm honey. This is just a really nice paint. So there we go. So yeah, that's how you mix with uh, Floetrol and paint alone. So please subscribe, like this video, hit the bell icon when you subscribe. I'll be posting more videos every Friday. And until next time, keep pouring and I'll see you soon. Thanks, bye.